all started about a year ago. We had training with children's about septic kids and respiratory distress, and they were teaching us that we need to intubate these kids, which is pretty aggressive. I asked children's staff, why can't we start CPAPing kids? And they said, there's no reason not to. It's just unheard of in the pre-hospital setting. The risks and complications of non-invasive CPAP versus intubation and ventilator are hugely different. People that are ventilated with ED tubes often get pneumonia. Uh, sometimes they have airway damage from the actual procedure putting the tube in. Intubation is one of the most invasive things we can do. When we have to intubate you, that means your breathing has almost stopped or stopped completely. Anytime a child is involved, it's, it's always a stressful run. But when you start adding the fact that a child isn't breathing, it's just that much worse. We actually had a resident, Kyle Goodnight, he's actually a Delaware County paramedic, and his daughter several years ago was going into septic shock, and they were able to utilize the CPAP instead of going through innovation. Camden Goodnight was my inspiration. She was at Children's Close to Home in respiratory distress, transported by Medic 111, and when they got to Children's downtown, she was in bad shape, so they CPAPed her down there. Rob came to the, to the ICU and visited. He came up to me and he's like, hey Kyle, ever since I saw Camden in the hospital, you know, I don't know why we can't do pediatric CPAP on the truck. And I'm like, yeah, I don't understand why either. They do it in a hospital setting. That's kind of how it started, you know, Rob and I just talking about that. And then just within the last two months, you know, this whole process came about with, you know, coming to City Hall and, and talking to, you know, the community about it. Westerville EMS had the idea and then they came to Children's and they said, we'd love to do this for kids. So we were able to come alongside Westerville with this great idea that was very forward thinking and bring our pediatric expertise and make it happen. Early on, we met with the manufacturer to see what they had available and try to get something put together. There are pediatric masks and there are other options, but nobody's really done it for CPAP. And when we discussed this with the manufacturer, they said, you know, we don't really have anything put together yet, but if you create enough demand, we can get something and change the way we package these items and get them out to you. You really need to make sure everybody's trained, you know, not just on the EMS side that we understand how to use it, but also on the hospital side. So when we do bring the patient into the hospital, they're aware of the technology that we're using, why we're using it, what we're doing with it, and we can make that transfer the patient over into the hospital care that much easier. We're taking what Nationwide Children's Hospital does and sort of extending that into the community. As far as we know, we are one of the first, if not the first, to do pediatric in the field. Our next step is to get Central Ohio departments on board so we can get more cases out there so children can collect the data. And then our hope is it to spread just like adult CPAP did and be across the country. I think that as an EMS provider, if I had this option, anytime I ran on a, a child, it would be a big relief. It would be one of those items that made me think, you know, I can, I can take care of this kid a lot easier. And it's just a great thing for this community, and it's just one more thing to help keep our residents safe and make sure that we're staying out in front when it comes to technology and procedures that can save a life. And honestly, I really do feel that this CPAP will save lives. Mm -hmm.